Hello and welcome to a Cookie Corner of YouTube. Uh, I found my very old sketchbook going through um, a whole host of things that I brought back from work um, when I retired. This was my uh, book that I kept in my desk and sometimes I used to go in with some of the students and do some artwork occasionally. Um, and this was one of the books I used to take in with me so that we could sit and just draw together, which is something a, a nice thing to do sometimes, you know, just sitting with non-judgmental people and doing a spot of drawing. <laughs> so I thought you might like to have a little look inside. Um, there's all kinds of random stuff in here. I'm not quite sure exactly what's in, but I'm going to cover up the first page because it's got my name and address on it, which we don't really want to share. Um, and I called it the Little Inks book. <laughs> so this is one of the first things. I did this on a piece of watercolour paper and um, yeah, it's a little supper time fox and he's got a fish underneath his arm. Let's go down a little bit further. So yeah, this was just like um, ink and watercolour over the top. Was it, it was a watercolour base, I think. I had pre-based pre watercolored some bases and I was just inking over the top of them and I was showing the kids how they could just do something simple like this um, because I, said, I don't have time miss I don't have time to do artwork well I <laughs> I'd say yes you do if you get some little watercolor bases then you can just go and they were quite enraptured with that so they enjoyed that little session oh this this is my <laughs> drawing of dart and the kids said can you draw dart from stranger things yes yes i'll have a go and that was that <laughs> um a little monster little monster design we'll be using some fluorescent paints or pens just fluorescent pens yeah we're using some fluorescent pens for that one so we all had a go with our fluorescent pens to create a monster and color him in a nice little thing to do sometimes. Also on the monster theme, this was my angry Nessie. <laughs> angry Nessie. Uh, that was just ink and watercolour. I used to take my very small watercolour setting. I think it was a Kiritake one. It was a, it was a small... It was a small job that I used to use. Let me see if I can find it. Found it. It wasn't. It's it's the Sakura Koi watercolor set. A really small boy, and I used to keep this in my desk at work just for such occasions. Um, and it was this. It's a water brush, watercolors, a little sponge, and my little swatch kit. Then that that used to come with me with this, <laughs> and that was it, and a pen usually. Um. This was another one we did where we were sketching out. We used to have an anime club as well. So we used to sketch out uh, manga and anime characters. <laughs> Done a lot of things in my time, come to think about it. But yes, that was another incarnation of artwork. Um, a little fox and some undergrowth. That's just watercolour again and pencil, I think. Uh, Specialist Crafts Watercolours. I don't know what that was from. Quite chalky, but passable for sketches. <laughs> I was obviously doing some testing out. These were some um, gouache pieces. I took some gouache in at one point, and we had to go doing some little gouache um, floral pieces, which is probably why I wanted to drag it out. I was looking through for my floral ideas. This is what sketchbooks are good for. You can go back into them and find things that are super interesting to use in other projects. Again, some more patterny things using gouache. I think this was the ordinary gouache and not the acrylic gouache. Yes, it was. It was just an ordinary gouache set. More ideas for mark making. And a little, little study there. This is a folk art piece and I was looking at folk art and I can't remember which book I was looking at but we all did one of these from the book and that is um I think that's just pen I think that's um 
That looks like alcohol ink pen, maybe. Hmm, I think so. These I did of my own accord. Um, these are little pattern studies that I was doing at the time. Um, and basically just playing around with all the different things I had to hand on my desk. So that was that. We've got a pilot drawing, <laughs> a 0.5 drawing pen, pilot, little rabbit. I've got a little foxy there and that's definitely, definitely an alcohol ink mark there with some ink pen over the top. This is a Liquitex acrylic gouache that I was swatching out and testing over the black. It's amazing what you find in these sketchbooks, isn't it? I've been looking for my little swatchy of this. I think I've got some more of these now as well. Some more little testies. I actually loved doing these. They were so relaxing just to abstractly shapes abstract shapes and just playing with colour and that I found really relaxing. You can see that because I've done a couple of them. <laughs> Another foxy trying out some other watercolours I think there and pen over the top of watercolour and then I've got um, a silver pen that I was testing on here and it didn't go through that's that's lucky. <laughs> Little birds, or oh, birds always crop up, as I've told you. Owls and birds generally always crop up somewhere in my pieces. This is obviously a piece, I think the pages had stuck together, so I just stuck a piece over the top and then uh, doing some mark making in there. Another mark making duo. <laughs> this tiny book was so handy as well, just to take out with me. And it's really strong. It will take quite a bit of stuff. It's a uh, much term, um, what do they call them, sketchbook. We'll see if I can find the, the thing in the back. Um, yeah, so more birds and more mark making. And then we go into the random mark making. This is testing out glitters. I don't know if you can see that. Just playing around with paint. This is This is just awesome just sitting down and messing around with things and sometimes something crops up that you really like so then you can you've got a record of it and you can keep hold of it what i do wish i'd done was written down exactly which which piece which um materials i'd used that would have been very handy wouldn't it oh heck this is when we <laughs> were doing ourselves as south park characters and this is me I did a couple for a couple of friends of mine as well, and they, they had them on their desks. But yeah, this was one that was on my desk for a long time, and I just cut it out and put it over a page that clearly had not worked very well yet. <laughs> oh, and we were doing some uh, work with calligraphy pens, obviously. Uh, more of my lollipop flowers. This is something that I developed from my little lollipop flowers um, ideas. So again, another use of a sketchbook is getting ideas from them to build on and make into bigger pieces. Uh, this is testing out some deco art. Obviously I've got a whole selection of things here. They're like the deco art, they're kind of the deco art Americana, which are quite chalky and lovely to draw on, can I say if you ever were wanting to do such a thing. A random page. <laughs> I tell you, I, I try testing out different things and then I just draw over the top and sometimes I quite enjoy it. And like, again, I wish I'd written down exactly which medium I'd used on this, but you know, sometimes it's nice to just revisit these things. Um, doodling in ink over the top of backgrounds. That was another thing that we did in our craft club. We did lots of things in our craft club, I have to say. <laughs> I remember once taking in a whole pile of felt. And at that point in time, I had probably about eight or ten boys who just came and sat down and started playing around with felt, and I thought it was great. And one of them grabbed out some really vibrant green felt, and he started drawing around his hand 
hand and I said don't waste the felt he said no miss no miss I'm making myself a pair of gloves and he made a pair of gloves out of felt and he actually stitched all the way around them was very proud of him and they fitted him as well <laughs> felt gloves for the win um little monster little yeti monster again mark making this one was i think it's gouache again yeah that's gouache that's gouache too with some silver added in this was for a bigger piece i was trying to figure out how to make a a landscapey thing but looking at it now looking at this now i'm seeing some slow stitching quilting coming up in my future because I like this hmm maybe this could be my cushion Ooh, there's a thought should bookmark that <laughs> for later use more mark making adding in a little bit of collage on this one this one has also got some dimensional paint on it as well I was just throwing everything at this, clearly. <laughs> uh, again, more mark making, more dimensional paint. Um, I think that one was a Sennelier paint that comes in a tube. I think it was this. I think it was this abstract Sennelier paint. It's a 3D liner that I was trying out. Yeah, definitely that. Uh, more... Mark making. Oh, this was in Anime Club, obviously. <laughs> this was, yeah, definitely an Anime Club one. We were a very vibrant bunch in that group, I have to say. And we used to share all our favourite animes and, um, and do some manga style drawing. <laughs> this is some um, lollipop flowers. Oh, they're not lollipop flowers, but they kind of built themselves into lollipop flowers as I developed them. Here's that monster again. It looks like a sloth. Yes, it is a sloth. It's not a monster. Uh, yeah, definitely a sloth, that one. <laughs> more lollipop flowers, more mark making. Oh, and now we got onto the interesting bits where we were doing portraits. We were doing like um, very simple portraits using a took a load of stuff in but we we did some very simple backgrounds then over the top did a portrait and that's got some dimensional I don't know if you can see it's kind of dimensional paint on the top of there dimensional paint going down there that page I never really did anything with that's another portrait dimensional portrait and two green girls those two blank never finished them off maybe i should do that maybe i should add in some more portraits on those perhaps this was um one of the kids asked me to draw out one of my cat brooches that i make i make little kooky cat faces they, they were such a huge seller in my uh, etsy shop for a long time and some of them went to america to be sold in a it was a plush team I was part of on Etsy and it, they went over to Chicago to be in a street uh, market. So I, I sent a whole load of things over there. So hopefully they all sold. <laughs> um, little raccoon in a bow tie and a jumper there. Oh, then we were drawing dogs. Yeah, little patches with dogs on. So I've got some doggos there. A dandelion. <laughs> that again is gouache I think with pencil over the top yeah yes Arte's a gouache obviously clearly those are the colours that I'd taken in with me so we've got a G in blue, bumblebee, naples yellow mid yellow that's probably just two of the Aegean blue and that's what we used to create our pictures this was a little design I did for some um, felt brooches that I made, and it was uh, talismanica brooches, I think. Yes, the talismanica set of brooches that I made in my Etsy shop. This was Dylan Dog. Dylan is a dog who belongs to my friend Kathy, and Kathy's an amazing person, and Dylan, just such a character. 
and I actually made him into clay pin brooches, uh, which are still in my shop, I think, as well. <laughs> got so many things. But this is ideas. You get ideas from these, and Dylan is just such a, a lovely, lovely character, and Kathy often posts pictures of him on her Insta so I can have a little doggy moment. And these are some um, handmade felts that I bought from somebody, Bejeweled, Fern and Nebula, and they're kind of beautiful and shiny. Just testing those out. Um, a strange bat. <laughs> this is gouache again, I think. This wasn't me. I'm sure I did not do this, but I probably gave this to a student to try and emulate some of the things we were doing. And that's what they did. I wish I got their name on there. <laughs> Or just a first name so I could remember who it was. Interesting. These are some stamps. We were doing some stamp making. I think we were doing Harry Potter journals at the time. I'm sure it was the Harry Potter journals. And these were just some of the little samples I was showing them how to make with. Another dog. <laughs> this obviously is the back bit is where I did all my scrappy bits. That was a design for a Kodiak bear who I have recently just sold so that was one of the designs I did for him. Those are the names for dogs we were thinking of at the time and I was writing down the ones the kids were coming up with so we've got Slime Fizz, Perry, Citrona, obviously we were <laughs> on um, fruits there maybe, Snapple and Tango or maybe it was just things that were in their lunchbox. <laughs> That's more like it. Whiz Bones, Brew and then there was Damien the Devil Dog. I've still not drawn him out yet. <laughs> Testing pens. And this was the uh, Turner Aqua Grosh, Gouache in pastel colours, a little sample of. These were the Vallejo acrylic gouache. I tested out samples of. More mark making. Oh, this, <laughs> this is a little... Um, I think somebody was trying to figure out the patterns because sometimes crochet patterns are, are done in a diagram form and I think this was that. Yeah, crochet diagram key. More mark making symbols. Names of people I was interested in looking up further at the time. Um, that was a little sample of a Daniel Smith paint and two Daniel Smith paints that I was wanting to get. I don't know if I actually ever got. I think I got the Luna Blue. I think I did. And that is it. Yes, these are the Lunchtime 1917 books and it was a sketchbook. Oh, and um, some of my polychromos. I've got the full set of them now. This is just a few that I had at the time. But yeah, it's the... Yeah, Lloyd's Term 1917, and it's the sketchbook variant, not the dotted pages. These are a lot thicker, so the sketchbook ones are really thick and take a lot of hammer and open out flat. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this little flick through of my old sketchbook. Um, oh, those are from um, an anime. No, um, Spirited Away. Was it? Was it Howl's Moving Castle? I can't remember. <laughs> it's a little dust sprites. Or was it Totoro? It could have been Totoro. Somebody tell me in the comments where, which anime, uh, which, which anime were they from? It's um, a Studio Ghibli one, so it's definitely one of those. <laughs> Anyway, have a great day. Hope you've enjoyed this little flick through my finished sketchbook. And um, maybe if you're interested, I'll have a look, see if I can find any of my older ones to go through. There's always lots of memories in each one. Bye for now.